Laura Internet. Yeah, it's another video from our Arthur's Pass trip from last summer. This one is a bit of a mishmash of some other short walks we did over the weekend, both up at the pass itself and down in the Otera Valley. another trail that leads off from the start of the Devil's Punch Bowl one. This one's just called the Arthur's Pass Trail. We think this might be the original trail that Arthur Dobson took over the pass and discovered Arthur's Pass, although probably Maori knew it way before he did, but you know. We're not sure though because I didn't do any research. These are the kind of things that make long bushwalks worth it. That is a very large rock. <laughs> Suddenly we're in west coast weather. <laughs> east coast? West coast! The other end of the track turns out to come out at the road. This is cool, an actual milestone. So we're 53 miles from Springfield. Now we're into a real New Zealand bush. This is the Beely Chasm. You definitely would not want to fall in the water here. up on top there but that is Mount Dobson which we are not climbing <laughs> to the let's just see what's around the next corner and the next corner and the next corner and now we're quite a long way up the Bailey Valley and there's the Bailey Valley I think because that was the Bailey Chasm so yeah we're a long way up whatever valley this is this was supposed to be a track up to a clearing we found the clearing but the track kept going so we kept going and the track is now getting a lot rougher and the weather looked like it might change at any moment so it feels like a safe time to turn around and go back even though we haven't found the end of the track yet there's a very pretty little bridge we've stopped at The Dobson Nature Walk takes you from the end of the Arthur's Pass track through Alpine Scrub to the actual top of Arthur's Pass where there's this monument to Arthur Dobson. And more interestingly, Mount Cook Lilies, which are actually giant buttercups. The world's largest buttercups in fact. From the end of the nature trail, you can continue on to Lake Misery. If the track is open, that is. But do you really think we'd let a little danger sign and a few broken boards stop us? Okay, so it was quite a few broken boards, and the boardwalk is completely missing in places. We've 
I've run out of boardwalk. There's a lot of swamp to get to the next bit of boardwalk. I think we're going to get wet feet here. It's a good thing there's a trail marker to aim for. <laughs> yes. But we found Lake Misery. It's the next morning. We were going to do a few walks around the area today, but it's the west coast, so weather has changed and might have to leave that for another trip. decided to go for a walk anyway because why not this is only a 30 minute nature walk apparently so it should be quick and if it really starts tipping down we went not too far from the car <laughs> Nature. Yeah, native orchids. Yeah, we don't do a lot of flowers in New Zealand for natives. We don't but have big stuff. We don't yeah. have big showy. But we have some little gorgeous flowers. It's very hard to get focus on this camera this close up. Tiny, tiny mushrooms or something. Some sort of fungal growth. Sometimes in New Zealand you've got to just look really closely at mm -hmm. the mosses and the little tiny plants because some really interesting things happening up close. All that orange on the rocks is nothing to do with pollution. It's actually iron oxide, which these are very iron rich hills and the iron gets dissolved in the water and so you get rust on the rocks.
The weather's clearing slightly, but it's time to head home to the hopefully drier east coast. Don't forget to do all those nice interneti things like liking and subscribing. And I'll see you next time. Ka kite no internet.